Hey everybody, it's Amanda, and I just got my bachelor's degree. Yay, it's been a long time coming. I actually, it took me 10 years in total. I started college 10 years ago, got my associate's degree, started on my bachelor's program, and then I think that was about the time that Ricky got sick and talked about it many, many times on this channel, but if you don't, if you're new here, if you don't know about it, my youngest son uh, got seriously ill for a time, and thankfully, you know, he's all better now. Uh, but for, for a time, everything got shut down and all my focus went on him and making sure all of that was taken care of. And so the college situation just kind of got shut down paused it and I had actually kind of released that as if it doesn't happen I'm okay with it and uh, anyway the kids all graduated got married left you know any combination of those things not everybody's married but um, but all of them have left our house we're empty nesters and uh, for a year I kind of kept doing the stay-at-home mom thing and then after that I was like, I can't just be in this house all the time by myself, <laughs> so I got a job. And after I started doing the job, I was like, you know, I, I really like my job. I work for a physical therapist, if you don't know that. And she specializes in children from birth to three, so I'm still with children all day long, or, or helping children all day long, as it were. I'm, I'm not the physical therapist, but I do the paperwork. But I feel as if it's helping them. And so, um, so it's, it's fulfilling in its own way, and I enjoy it, and I enjoy the people I work with. Um, however, it's not the same and I realized that I really miss teaching because I homeschooling mom for all these years and I just I love teaching I love being around children I just like that whole thing well about the same time that I started kind of thinking about this like maybe I should really get back into doing some kind of teaching thing I got an email from the college that I went to and they had that which is Western Carolina University and they had this finish line program and if it was for people who were close to graduating and uh, they emailed me and they said hey why don't you call us and we'll see what we can do to, to help you finish up your degree and when I'd left I'd had less than a year left so I messaged them uh, thinking, and I'd actually messaged them several years ago, like when Ricky started to get better, I had, um, you know, talked to them to see what I could do. And they said, well, the program's changed. So you really got to start it all over and it was going to be two whole years. And I was like, no. So anyway, so when I called them about the finish lane program, I was like, so this is what they had said to me before. And they said, no, you know what? We actually have it now to where we can kind of work with what you already have. And it's only going to take you a year to finish. So I was like, well, if it only takes a year, I'm in. <laughs> so, uh, so I made sure that, you know, we could afford it. And it was, you know, I still graduated debt free, praise the Lord. So, um, so anyway, so we, we got it set up to where I could go ahead and jump in and finish in a year. So I started with everything last May, um, just, you know, doing all the paperwork and everything. I did take some summer classes and then I did uh, fall and spring and here I am bachelor's degree in birth to care and education so i have some footage from the graduation ceremony that i wanted to share with you rick took it and i was not there obviously because i was on graduating so it's 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 i don't know how to put it but he 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 made the video <laughs> i'm gonna narrate it but i'm gonna pop in and out so you can see what's going on so we are gonna start he he filmed a little footage driving in and me getting out of the car and pinning my cap on when i say a little footage i mean very very little you're just gonna get a little snippet of what it was to get ready so take a look at that <laughs> You're pinning. <laughs> so it was a little footage. <laughs> so what happened was, you know, when we pulled out of the parking lot, it was it was very hectic. Obviously, the people ha we had to be there as graduates to line up at a certain time, and it was an hour before the actual ceremony began. And there were no tickets to this graduation. Anybody could come because it was in their stadium, their indoor stadium. Um, so the assumption is there's plenty of room and there was there was there was some seats left um, that being said um, It was it was crazy because I you know to make sure that you had the best seats You wanted to get there early because it was first come first serve. So uh, Rick went in but he went in by himself 
and he'd never been there before because <laughs> my classes were all online. The college was actually two hours away from me. So he went in and he got some footage of, you know, the things that were happening to start, you know, what, what the, the arena looked like, the, um, booklet that they give out. My, my brain is going blank. I'm telling you, I've gotten so little sleep the last couple days. We had to get up at three o'clock in the morning because this was a morning graduation ceremony. We had to get up at three o'clock in the morning yesterday in order to drive for two hours to get there in time. <laughs> so it's a little bit crazy. I'm still a little exhausted. Um, but anyway, so, uh, he, he shows you the book and he shows you just all the different things that are going on in the arena while he's waiting. So that is going to be the next footage and I'll let you see that here. So he's shown you everybody's come in and now we're all gonna walk in. And I don't know how he found me um, in the big group of people that walked in, but he did. And so I, I'm gonna give you a little glimpse of what it was like when everybody walked in. And, and I'm going to um, show you where he actually found me in the crowd. And you can see that I'm kind of looking around the whole arena trying to find him. And I knew, it was so funny because when I walked in, I just kind of, in, in my mind, just kind of thought, oh, he's probably up over here. But I was second guessing myself. Like I had no idea where he was actually gonna sit. I, but I, in my mind, I just thought he'll be in this section probably. And then I thought, you're just thinking that way because that's the side you're on. And I, I was second guessing myself. And then I'm like, he's gonna be on an end. He's gonna be towards the back. Like I, I'm, I'm like taking what I know of Richard Beale. Like Amanda Beale would sit in the front row. Richard Beale would never sit in the front row. <laughs> You know, Amanda Beale would move to the center. Richard Beale would be on an end. He, he's looking for an escape. So I already know all the stuff about him. So I was looking around the arena and I looked all around and I was looking on the ends and on the edges and I could not find him. And I was so, so sad because even though it was like my big day, like I, I, I wanted to share it with him and I couldn't find him. And, I, and you can kind of see it on my face as I'm looking around and I'm like, where is he? And I couldn't find him and I knew he was there somewhere, but I just couldn't find him. But anyway, here he is. You're going to see him finding me in the crowd and me just looking around trying to figure out where Rick was.
in this next section, you're going to get to see the beginnings of the actual ceremony. Um, and little snippets of speakers and things. You can see the stadium and the, gum, the jumbotron. Um, Rick had never touched this camera before this day. <laughs> so you can tell that sometimes he covers the mic and you can't really hear things well. And he's, he's not sure. He's kind of fumbling with the zooming in and out. It's kind of shaky. Um, but, you know, I'm sharing it with you guys in pieces so you can just kind of get the feel of, of what the ceremony was like if you were there and, and, you know, being a part of it. So here is, you know, just the pieces of the beginning of the ceremony. <laughs> The Red Wing students have now assembled for the 2024 Spring Commencement Exercises for the Colleges of Arts and Sciences, Education and Allied Professions, and the David Moore Belcher College of Fine and Performing Arts. We welcome our students and everyone in the audience today and ask you to respect the dignity and decorum of the celebration of our graduates by not engaging in excessive noise and disruption. for my row to rise up and we are going to walk and Rick follows me <laughs> from the time that I rise up all the way up till they call my name so I'm going to show you all of that footage and I actually recorded from the Western Carolina video what it was when they called my name what you would have seen if you'd been on the jumbotron so that way you have that as well so here I am getting my diploma <laughs> Jane Isaac Clark, Summa Cum Laude, Krista Isabel Perez, Eden Sierra March, Summa Cum Laude, Caitlin Jo Sanders, Magna Cum Laude, Grayson Edward Tyler, Magna Cum Laude, Evelyn Mobley, Summa Cum Laude, Stella Ruth Lovell, Summa Cum Laude, Logan Skywalker West Education and Allied Professionals. Sarah Grace Elizabeth Acosta. Summa Cum Laude. Elizabeth Bowens Adams. Stephanie Heather Alvarez. Samantha Elizabeth Arnold. Lindsay Marie Ash, Magna Cum Laude, Naomi Rose Astor, <laughs> Kelsey Woodward Barber, Alex Bernard, Riley 
Michelle Barber. Woo! Amanda Lynn Beal, summa cum laude. Amanda Lynn Beal, summa cum laude. Braden Evan Blaze Bryant. Kenya Shay Bryant. Savannah Caitlin Buchanan. I still hadn't found Rick, but here at the end, where we're standing up, getting ready to walk out, I kind of looked around the crowd again and I saw him and I was so excited when I saw him. I didn't even know Marquise was there. We had invited all the kids and um, everybody else had said they weren't gonna be able to make it. Uh, Marquise had said he wasn't sure if he was gonna be able to make it, so I didn't know he was coming. And when I actually saw Rick in the crowd initially, Marquise had, I guess, gone and walked away and had come back. So um, at first I just saw Rick and then Marquise kind of walked back in. I was like, oh, Marquise is there. And I was waving at him. Um, but you can see the excitement on my face when I, when I saw Rick and how happy I was. And, um, and then you can also hear him and Marquise talking in the background uh, when Marquise was, was there. Um, cause of course, Marquise graduated, as you can hear him talking, from Western Carolina uh, probably, I guess, a year before, I think is what he says. And um, I can't remember if it was a year or... or two years ago. And Brian also got his bachelor's at Western Carolina University. Marquise has his uh, bachelor's in fine arts and Brian's, uh, he has a bachelor's in business administration with a concentration in entrepreneurship and a minor in business law. So we're a Western Carolina family. We really are. And it's just, you know, they've got a, they've got great programs there. They make it really easy. And I've, we've had a really positive experience. More about that in a second. But I just wanted to give you a heads up on this. You're going to see the end of the ceremony here, <laughs> or pieces of it anyway, and you kind of get the gist of what's going on. And by the way, my husband has zero sense of direction, so he really did not know uh, where we were parked or um, anywhere, even though I had specifically walked him to the place where he was supposed to meet me and tried to, as clearly as possible, make sure he knew the meetup location. He did not, and, and I'll tell you more about that in a second. <laughs> I graduated last year, so I'm chilling right now. I wasn't here for it, but it was here for last year. I told him specifically where to meet up, showed him. I tried to pick the easiest spot. I went after the graduation was over, I went and waited at that spot for 20 minutes, 20 minutes. And then I was like, I'm gonna go back in the building and look for them. And I went back in the building, which by the way is up like three flights of stairs. And I was like looking around the whole time trying to see if I could see them. Went back in the building and they were in the building and they were just like chilling out, walking around and I'm like, I was waiting for you for like 20 minutes and when I actually, we, we were leaving and we walked by that spot, I was like, this is where I was supposed to meet you. He was like, yeah, I would have never found it. I know, I know he wouldn't have, but <laughs> this is why I was re really hoping somebody would come and sit with him. I'm at least glad Marquise was there so he could semi get around, but yeah, he's, he doesn't have a great sense of direction. <laughs> 
It's not his gift. It's not his gift. He has many, many other gifts. He's a wonderful person, but that's not his gift. Anyway, that's that's the tale of the graduation, and um, and it was it was a pretty fun experience. To be honest with you, I wasn't going to walk. I didn't walk uh, when I graduated high school. I did walk when I got my associate's degree, and I thought, eh, you know, I don't really need to walk this time. And Rick was like, no you're walking. And I was like, I don't really know if I want to spend the money and get the gown, the regalia and all that good stuff. And he was like, I don't care if we have to Instacart every single day after work, you are going and you are walking. And I thought about it and I thought, you know, Rick has worked the entire time that I've gone to college and he's, you know, put me through college, so to speak. And, and I feel like this is hit just as much his as it is mine. You know, he's, he's been very supportive in whatever it is that I wanted to do. And I thought, you know, for him, I'm going to go walk and I'm going to make sure it's a special experience. And when I did actually go and do the ceremony and I was, I was actually really glad that I did walk and I was glad that, that I did do the whole thing um it, it was it was pretty special and it was it was worth it and it didn't even cost that much in the end honestly so so yeah so hey i have my bachelor's degree and i'm going to keep going actually i graduated saturday i start my summer classes monday <laughs> i'm going to keep going on i've got to i've got to do a little more here in north carolina to get actually certified as a teacher although i can technically work as a teacher at this point um, here in the state, but I, I need a little bit more before I can be officially certified and um, I'm definitely gonna get my master's working on that and uh, hopefully PhD Hope that works out, but um, we're just gonna we're just gonna keep going Because there's just a lot that I want to do and I want to make sure that I'm teaching it and ideally in my dream world I'm gonna open my own school So we're gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna keep pursuing and pushing forward. I have I have my I have a lot of experience in education and you know educating my own children working in a private school uh, t you know running a multi-family uh, homeschool organization for years teaching group homeschool classes I mean I all I've done for the last 20 years is teach at every grade level and I'm just very passionate about it and I have my own ideas about how children should be taught and it is vastly different <laughs> from from what is happening out there right now so I'm I am excited to keep learning and I'm excited to pursue it and I'm excited to take it even to the direction that I feel like it should go and I really want to thank you guys because you guys also helped make this happen. You guys have been supportive with me for the last 10 years as well through all this journey and it's been a great blessing. So anyway, I'm sharing this with you because in a way I feel like this is just as much yours as I feel it's Rick's. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all for sharing this uh, exciting event with me and I'll keep you, keep you informed as we move forward. So you guys have a good day. Thanks for being here for my graduation. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.